and the fine manager of the Chicago White Sox, Pedro Grafal, joins us now here on your home for White Sox baseball, ESPN 1000. Skip, good morning. How are you doing today? You go for a series win, a little banged up, but how are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you guys doing? We are doing very, very well. Uh, a little concerned about all the injuries. Is this a shocker to you or it's just part of the game? Well, some of it's part of the game and uh, I don't think any one of them is a shocker, but um, you know, the, one of them, you know, Timmy's was just a uh, mis-executed rundown, you know? So, um, but again, you're right. It's part of the game. Uh, it's early for it to be part of the game, but we are where we are and we just got to, have that next man up mentality and move forward. Can you just explain to all of us, how should that rundown have been executed to be proper fundamentally? Oh, they actually, they actually made the right call on that. Cause I don't think you would have turned a five, four, three double play right there with Michael Taylor running. So, you know, it was a, a five, four and then getting the rundown. And what happened was, you know, Timmy went we're right where you're supposed to be. And, you know, Alberto, once he, once he threw the ball to, to uh, Andrews at second base, just stayed in that in that lane where he needed to just you know spear off that lane and let you know and let the rundown happen between Andrews and uh, and Timmy, and then and that's where you know the ball came to Alberto. Alberto dropped the ball, then he tried to flip it to Timmy, and the runner kind of dove right into Timmy's knees. So uh, it was just uh, unfortunate. A situation where you know Timmy got hurt, you know, in a in a botched rundown, really. Pedro, you've been around baseball for a long time, so you know what it looks like when it's right defensively for a ball club. So, what is your philosophy overall about working on defense and getting it right? Well, I mean, we're working. You know, the guys are out there working every single day. We were um, we were on a nice little little run there defensively in the last uh, few games. Uh, you know we've uh, we've made some mistakes. Uh, these uh, these are being addressed. Um, we were out there working yesterday. They'll be out there working today, and uh, it's just one of those things where we gotta, you know, we gotta address these things, and we gotta go out there and work on them the next day and improve. And that's that's just a part of it. Pedro Grafal is the manager of the Chicago White Sox. He joins Cap and Jay Hood on ESPN 1000 and the ESPN Chicago app. Sitting in the other dugout with Kansas City, what did you notice most about the White Sox as a team? Well, the one thing I noticed is the one thing that's not happening now is that, you know, last year, the energy part of it and uh, the intensity part, you know, was just off and on. And that's the one thing I can tell you. These guys are coming out. Uh, they're, they're, they're preparing with, uh, with intensity and energy. And, you know, they're playing hard. You know, these guys are playing hard. They're running hard. Uh, they're working hard. They're preparing for a game. We're meeting. Um, you know, we're going over clubs. We're going, we're going over the pitching. Um, you know, we're going over all the fundamentals that we need to go over uh, on the opposing club and the things that we can do and can't do. Um, so, you know, it's just a matter of putting it all together now and, you know, getting the pitching and the hitting going at the same time. Pedro, when did you first start really falling in love with baseball? Because the reason why I ask that question is because I'm sure that your love for baseball, you can impart that to young players. So what did, when did you say, yeah, this is the game for me that I really love the sport? Well, my dad took me to, to my first baseball game with my first baseball practice when I was four years old. Um, you know, unfortunately for me, I had, you know, two sports that I loved. And I loved baseball and I loved tennis, you know. So I, w I wasn't, you know, one of these kids that just, just played baseball every single day. You know, I, I mixed it up a little bit. Um, and then when I had to make a decision right around, I think it was around 12 years old, um, you know, baseball was obviously the, the sport that I, that I chose. And, you know, I just love the game. I love everything about it. I love to play it. I love to practice it. I, um, you know, and then as my career, you know, in the minor leagues started to, you know, go in a different direction, then, you know, my mind went to player development and it went to, you know, teaching and, and managing and, you know, that type of mentality. So uh, I've loved it probably since I was four years old. You know, the good thing is that I was doing something else too. I, it was just, it just wasn't baseball. So I didn't get burned out from it. Um, and then once, 
once I got to about 12 years old, it was just strictly baseball. And this is something that I love. I have a passion for. I never get sick of it. I never get bored from it. Um, <clears throat> this is what I do. You know, I do, I do baseball and I spend time with my family. This is, this is just the two things that I do in life. So and we're talking to White Sox manager Pedro Grafal here on the home of the White Sox, ESPN 1000. What I find interesting is I think you're, you hit it right. Your club plays hard. There's some talent there. What has been the biggest surprise to you when you move over one seat? Now you're the guy. You're not the, and the bench coach or the first base coach. or third. They play vital roles. It's your team now. Wins and losses are on your ledger. What's the biggest surprise you found so far? You know, the, the good thing is that my career took me to many different uh, chairs, right? And this this chair right here mimics uh, a lot of different chairs that I've gone through in, in my career, which, you know, the administration part of mimics the farm directing, the managing part in the minor leagues obviously mimics, you know, managing here and managing winter ball, the coordinating part. Uh, mimics mimics the instruction and and all the stuff that goes on in the field and leading and you know so there hasn't been really any surprises to this job um, you know the one thing that that obviously is different is is that you know you wear it right you got to wear it you're the you're the you're the manager and you know the the club that's a the club's a reflection you know on you and your preparation and and your motivation and. Um, and what you're trying to do on a daily basis and your structure and, you know, everything. So um, you got to wear it. And, and that's the one thing that, you know, I go home. I love this game. I love this team. I love this game. I love this organization. I love what I do, you know, so I, you know, I'm hard on myself. Um, and that's the one thing that I, uh, you know, that I battle with. I don't, I don't see it changing. I'm always going to be that way. Um, I just got to, you know, do a better job of, you know, flushing things and getting back here the next day and, you know, and uh, understanding that, you know, today's a good day to start a winning streak, really. Pedro, as always, we appreciate your time. Come back on the show again if you get a chance. You got it. Anytime.